Hi, boys and girls, and welcome back to Adventures in Reading and Rhythm with Mrs. Ragsdale. I have been sharing some special books that are about family members this week, about moms and dads and sons and daughters. And I have another one, but this is a two for special. So it's two books in one, and let me explain. So the first side is called What Grandmas Do Best. But then you flip it over and it's what grandpas do best. So I'm going to share both stories with you, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this one. What Grandmas Do Best by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. Can you already be thinking about maybe something that your grandma does that you're like, hmm, I wonder if that's gonna be in the book. Like I would guess cooking or baking or providing popsicles on hot days when you're playing outside. So think of something and we'll see if it's in the book, okay? Now this is a Simon & Schuster Books. That's who it's published by. And here's our story. Grandmas can play hide and seek. Make you a hat and take you for a walk. Grandmas can paint with you, show you their photographs. Has it been something you thought of yet? And teach you how to dance. Grandmas can take you on a picnic. Show you some magic tricks and help you fly a kite. Grandmas can take you to the beach, help you build a sand castle. And take a nap with you. Grandmas can play games with you. Give you a bath and sing you a lullaby. <laughs> but best of all, grandmas can give you lots and lots of love. I didn't see anything about cooking and baking in there, did you? That's okay. My grandma also drove a car really fast and we thought that was fun. So, but maybe that was something your grandma does, like sings you a lullaby or gives you a bath or takes a nap with you, takes you for a walk, makes a hat. All right, um, pretty sure none of our grandmas look like the grandmas in the story though. They were all different kinds of animals. And on the flip side, literally the flip side, is what grandpas do best. Looks like these grandpas won't look like our grandpas either, unless you have a bulldog for a grandpa. All right, so again, this is by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. And can you think of something that maybe your grandpa does that you're wondering if it will be in here? Hmm, my grandpa did woodworking I wonder if that could be in here. You think of something else? All right, they work really hard though. What grandpas do best. And again, it's another Simon and Schuster book. <laughs> grandpas can play hide and seek. Make you a hat and take you for a walk. Well, that sounds kind of similar to the grandma's, right? But it's a different kind of hat. <laughs> grandpas can paint with you, show you their photographs. And teach you how to dance. Grandpas can take you on a picnic
show you some magic tricks and help you fly a kite. Grandpa's can take you to the beach, help you build a sand castle. and take a nap with you. Grandpas can play games with you. Ooh, miniature golf. I like that. Give you a bath and sing you a lullaby. He's playing the guitar while he sings. But best of all, grandpas can give you lots and lots of love. Well, those stories were very similar, weren't they? What grandmas do best and what grandpas do best. They did a lot of the same things, right? Taking you for a walk, singing you a lullaby, taking you to the beach, playing hide and seek. And maybe your grandmas and grandpas do other things that you thought should be in a book. And you know what? You could even make a book. You can write it out and you can illustrate it, draw your own pictures of what your grandmas and grandpas do. You could even give that to them as a gift. I bet they would love that. So thank you for joining me today for another story about family members with grandpas and grandmas. And I will see you again real soon for some more stories. I have some other ones coming up where we'll be singing them and I know you'll really enjoy them too. So until the next time with Adventures in Reading and Rhythm, I'm Mrs. Ragsdale. Have a great day. Bye.